Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Last time we started the game up and did the first mission of Gloomy Manor. And we only got two stars because we suck at video games. This time we're going to start the second mission, Gear Up. Ready for some more action? Ah, you're a courageous lad. But you know, you remind me of myself at your age, fella. Ho ho, those were the days. Anywho, we need to start searching for the rest of the Dark Moon. Luckily, I've got just the invention to make our job easier. I call it the Periscope, a tip-top device that detects and measures distant paranormal signals. Cool. In fact, I just used it to scan the gloomy manner I found some strong activity in the north rooms. That's where we'll start our search. <laughs> look at Luigi there. He doesn't look too confident. Oh my god, look at him. I love Luigi's little, like, animations too. Like, he has a whole bunch of them. He's doing a different one right now. Oh, you haven't changed a bit, my boy. There's no reason to be scared now that you're equipped with my mighty poltergust. True enough. Now details. There's a mechanism that controls the access to that section. Okay, that wasn't much of a detail. The access mechanism is in the foyer. I'll give you instructions once you get there. Sweetie-o. I think we got it. And so, things happen. Got all that? Good. Now get a move on. And we get pixelated once again. That's got to feel weird. I wonder what that feels like. It can't feel like good. Well, I guess it could. I don't know. I've never been changed into pixels. And there's where that pixelator that was in the entrance room comes from. Or has a use for. Alright. Well, before we actually do what we're supposed to do, which is go up here to the foyer that's lit up right over here, um, we're going to go back down outside. We could do this in the last mission, but I didn't because it was kind of running along a bit long as it was. So now that we have the flashlight, uh, these um, flowers that you have here will open if you flash them with the flashlight. And this one second from the left gives you a gem. And so that's our first gem we got. I guess I guess Egad's going to tell us about it. Yellow. Doing some gem hunt gemstone hunting on the side, eh, feller? I can't say I blame you, those gems are one of a kind, worth a fortune, I reckon. But remember, you've got a job to do. You'll have time to look at your gems later in the vault. Carry on, youngster. Alright, so that's why I didn't really check out the vault quite yet. Oh, it's third from the left, I guess. Because there's still things that haven't appeared there that we have yet to get. Oh, coin over here for some weird reason. And I believe that's pretty much all that matters out here for the time. But, if you pull that back, this blanket, there's a hidden area back here that will give you money on different missions, not this one. Which I I, I think it'll give you money on the first mission, we just didn't do it because I didn't feel like it. What is that noise? Hmm, maybe we'll find out the source of that later on. So in addition to that that we didn't do last episode, there's also back here that I didn't check out after we got the flashlight. You can now open up this door, which is cool. Before we go that way though, let me just get in a good position here. Spin this around and get ready to flash some spiders because these guys... Ugh, they give you a gold bar and gold bars are worth 20 each and you can't do it once you do it once. And I don't believe this actually does anything once you do it the first time. Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing back there. Um, and I think that takes care of really everything in this room other than the fact that you can light this up if you touch it. Pretty cool. That might have a use in the future, it might not, who knows. Alright, so now we have the mudroom exterior. And back here, the dog seems to have left. If you open this up, it'll give you a heart if you're missing any HP, but I'm not, so it won't. However, the important thing is, we have another gem, which is actually the first one you're supposed to get. Alright, so that gives us two gems. I'm not sure if we're going to come across any others in this mission, we'll see. Just depends if you're really able to go to that area in the mission. Which I can't remember off the top of my head if you can. There's one in the entrance there, but we can't get it quite yet. And I don't think there's anything in here. Nah, it's empty. Oop, okay. Flash the mice for a little bit of coinage. Not too much, but it's still worth it. Eh, gotcha. All right, and now into the foyer. And it's dark again, so that means more ghosts. Ooh, it's a red one this time. We haven't seen this guy before. 
and this is why it's called Gear Up. Literally gears. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Four of them. Wow. Dude, you both have a gear. Stop fighting over it. Nice. All right, well, I guess that's our mission, to get those gears back from those ghosts. Also, that door seems to open up when it was locked last time. And everything lights up. Cool. And of course, we get another call from EGAD. All right, well, let's answer it. Hello. Dag blasted ghosts. Dag blasted. Luigi, those brutes just stole the gears from the access mechanism I told you about. I'll use the periscope to find them. Then you can use the map on the DS to hunt them down. Ho ho, those, the terrified look in your eye just gave me a great idea. From now on, I'm going to call the DS, this is genius, the dual scream. Incredible. Oh my god, you are way too infatuated with yourself. Interact with the map on the dual scream to locate the brute ghosts in the west wing. The map has a whole slew of features, so be sure to mess with it, miss around with it later. But for now, get those gears back. Look lively. Sure thing. So for the people who don't know, it's actually, uh, the actual DS is called the dual screen, so that's actually a pretty good pun he came up with there. We can blast this for a little bit of HP out of the safe, I believe. Yeah, in the first mission it'll actually give you money, so if you want to do that, do that for some extra money. But as you can see, we have some rooms that have, um, exclamation points in there. Actually, I think there's a, I think there's a gem in the studio. Oh, uh-oh. Ghost with a key. We're gonna have to get that. Oh, where is it going? Let's go and find him then. Because we need that key, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's locked. No bueno. As you can see on the map, it's actually a red door right down there, so that means it's locked. Alright, well, I wonder where he went. We haven't checked out the garage in this mission, but I don't believe there's anything there other than a couple of coins. Small enemies that give you small money. Oh, looks like he's in here. Boom. Got him. That wasn't too hard. He would have dropped the chandelier on you if you wait too long, so be careful about that. But luckily, we were too fast for him. You're too slow. Alright, well, we got the key. Let's get going. Can't waste any time getting those gears back from those ghosts. Kind of excited to fight a new ghost. And there's a whole bunch of new ghosts coming up. Just you wait. Oh. Blue fire. What could that mean? Hmm. Uh-oh. So, yeah, so whenever you see blue fire on, the, on those candles, that means there's that's gonna happen. And a, yet another new ghost. Oh, and it looks like we're gonna have to fight some ghosts in here, too. Alright, where could they be? Oh, we get to fight them now! Bananas. Suck them up if you want. Get rid of them. Here, let's shake them out of the vase. Boom! Oh, I missed them. Boom! Got him. This guy has 15 HP as opposed to the green ghost that has 10. Well, that took that care of that pretty easily. And that lifts the gate on the stairs. And the fire turns back to red. Alright, so yeah, whenever you see blue fire, be cautious. You don't want to get scared. I remember that part specifically being in the trailer for the game too, so I was like, when I, the first time I was playing through the game, I was like, when's that gonna happen? And sure enough, it happened when there was blue fire. As you can tell from the upturned carpets, you can pull them back for some extra coin. Whoa, they went everywhere. Wow. Wowie zowie. And there's also a stack of dollar bills right here if you want them. Which, of course, why wouldn't you? Also, I accidentally sucked up that spider web. Uh, you actually want to flash those guys with your flashlight for more coins. I don't think you can pull up that one. There is, however, a fake wall right here. So we pull that back and look into here. Oh no, we can actually go into here, my bad. Get rid of all this dust, get some extra coinage, and a key. Sweet. So now we have another key. I wonder what door that'll be used for. And we can look in here. And this is the studio. Got some blue ghost paintings and things. Doing a self-portrait somewhat, except it's of a different guy. No looking. So I think they'll just keep doing that little animation there. And I believe that's all we need to do in the secret pocket here, so let's get out of here. Alright, so, this door sh Oh wait, no, we can look in here too. Let's go ahead and do it. What's going on in here? Oh! That thing's moving around. 
the table or the blackboards moving around. That's all I see right now. Hmm. Let's check it out, why don't we? It's unlocked. What's in this? Uh -uh. What? You can't... Uh -uh. You can't do anything with it? Okay, then. Flash it, nothing happens. Ooh, okay. There's a ghost. Go ahead and grab him. Hold on. Let's get both of them. Or not. Also, ghosts can hit you while you're sucking up other ghosts, so you want to be aware of that. Get this guy as well. Easy stuff. Still more ghosts in here, though. Hmm. I don't think there's any gems in here. Oh, there's a red one. Go ahead and flash him. He has 30 HP as opposed to the 10 that the green has. And as you can see, even a power, uh, power spike thing doesn't quite take him out, but we still got him regardless. And that gives us our first gear. So that's one of four that we need. As you can see, it's actually tracking that on the bottom screen. And what else? I believe there's something else we're supposed to do here. Hold on, let's grab that thing before it goes away. Can we only interact with this during... Okay. Not sure what the deal with that is. Hmm. We'll probably figure that out soon. Later. Something wrong with that bulb. Uh, isn't there anything we can do with this? Touch it. It doesn't hurt us. Good. Okay, I think that's all we can do in here for now. Yeah. We'll get what we need to in here later. In a different mission, perhaps. Ooh, there's also... I thought that was a money. That's actually book. A book. And is this unlocked? It is indeed. All right. Wait, no. What? We can't get in there. That's odd. All right, then. Guess we'll ignore that for now. Painting of cheese. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Along with the other painting of cheese and the painting of a mouse. Let's check out this door. This is the library. And floating books. That's not creepy at all. All right. Well, let's figure out how to get into there, then. Hmm. Oh. We'll be able to do something with that. And with that, oh wait, hold on. Are we really supposed to get the thing that was in there? Hold on, we have a key. I think I know where it goes. Let's get out of here and go upstairs because I believe the key is actually for up here and that's why you need to go up the stairs to get rid of that blue ghost. Indeed, here we go. And this is where we want to do things. Go ahead and take down another painting of cheese to get some spiders and get hurt. So that lowers our, our ranking for the stage. Nothing else hidden here. We can roll up this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, can we do it anymore? No, it's stuck there. What's here? Oh, okay. Oh, get these guys. Get them. Ah, okay, there we go. We got all of them. That's 60 gold right there. Really nice. Here's the parlor. Before we do anything, flash the clock up here, and you get another gem. Easy as that. And that gives us our third gem. And of course, there is a there's a fan, so you always want to spin these. Oh my god, it's an, it's revealing an entire hidden thing. That gives us a bunch of money. Oh my god. Ooh, so here's music. And a ghost. How many are there? Oop, don't let him hit me. I don't know why I was pointing upwards there. Did it on accident. Where's this other guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Got him. And you're done for. Oh, and another red guy. Grab him before he does anything bad to us. I believe these guys will also do two more damage to you than other ghosts if they hit you. So watch out for that. However, with that, we get our second gear. Not bad at all. All right, and I'll go ahead and check a couple things in here. Whoa, there's our golden bone. I believe you'll find one or two in each stage. Some of them will only have one, some of them will have two. It's pretty great. Always find them if you if you're having trouble, which, I mean, you can't purposely find them, but look for them if you can. I believe that, oh, we can check something else here for some more money, look at that. More money, more happy. Who says money doesn't give you happiness? It definitely does. As far as this game's concerned, um, I believe we wanna go in here now. 
Yeah, we can get into here, and this is the bedroom. Now, I know there's more gems to get in here, but I'm not sure if you can do it in this mission or not. Suck up these to reveal a hole in the wall. That gives you absolutely nothing, but you can look through it. Luigi's not even tall enough to look through it. And here's the study. There's a, there's a gear right over there that we need to get, so let's get on that. Anything in here? Spider. I'll take that. All right, and of course, if there's a ceiling fan, spin it and get hit by spiders. Kill the spider. All right, well, there's this right here that we want to pull. Yeah. And that reveals a bed if you lay in the bed. Hmm. Hmm. It'll send you to the study. I believe the door is locked otherwise, so you can't get through there. So let's go for this, and we can't. All right, well, oh, there he is. I haven't gotten two ghosts at once for a while now. Oh, oh, hold on, we can get three at once here. Just wait. Ah, oh, that's two, oh well, I'll go for it. Better than one. Don't you do this. Oh, get him, okay. By the way, if you want to, hair dryer. Okay, well, if you hear the hair dryer in the background, sorry. Um, but if you want to build up the the super sucking up meter, I don't know what to call it. I forgot what it's called. Um, you have to aim in the opposite direction that the ghost is at in relation to you. So if it's like in front of you, like if you're pulling this way, you want to pull downwards on the thing, on the circle pad, so you can pull it harder. Well, there's our gear, but if we pull this back, we can't get this gem yet. All right, well, we'll get that later. Flash everything. Ooh, that bat gave us a lot of monies. And I think that's pretty much all this room is used for. Or actually, I think I'm wrong. Pull this back, step on the switch, and voila, there's no longer a fire. Flash the mouse, and let's get going. I like how, like, there's interactive things in each of the mansions that send you to another room. I love that. That's the third one we've seen so far. The others were the toilet and the... and the bed. Oh, he hid in the jar. Let's get him. Yep. There he is. Oh, gotcha before he even had a chance to respond. Look at that. This guy's gonna throw books at us. And this is why we couldn't open the door. It's covered by a bunch of dust. All right, and he is in here. He's not? What? Okay, then. Where'd he go? Oop. Gotcha. Oh, but I didn't. <laughs> All right. Here he is. Now I got you. You're mine. And I believe that takes care of the go. It does not. There's more. Oh, yeah, there's the red one. Can't forget about that. Also, once we get this guy, this will be our last gear. So, mission accomplished. All right, grab the gear, and that gives us all four gears out of four. My leg is asleep as well. Nice. All right, we did that. And Egad's gonna call us, of course. What up, Egad? Hello. Hello. Luigi, how goes it, my boy? You found all four gears that quick? Ho ho. Well, you get there, there in the end. Good work, Sonny. Now head back to the foyer and put those gears back into the access mechanism. All right, before you leave this room, however, there should be, ah yes, a hidden spider web right there that will reveal a gem, our fourth gem already. So you should, I believe you're actually able to access like two gems per mission. There's 13 gems in every mansion, so that's how many you have to look for. However, we've gotten four already that quickly. All right, so let's head back to the foyer right through here and put the gears back where they belong. Hmm. Oh. Luigi, you're a plumber. You should be able to do this. Could he... Could he really not figure it out? Are you serious right now, Luigi? Come on. Why the long face, Luigi? Well, genetics, I suppose. Ooh. Criminy, the gears don't fit into the mechanism? Those brute ghosts must have bent them or something. 
I suppose I'll have to repair them in order to make them work. Well, at least you recovered all of them. And it looks like you captured some very interesting ghosts. I can't wait to check them out. I'm bringing you back now. And that completes the mission. Nice. So let's see how we did in this one. I think we did, we worked a little faster than we did in the last episode. I hope. 14 minutes, not bad. Ghost captured 16. We lost a lot of health though, so I don't think we're going to get a three star rank. Yeah, oh well. I'm good with that. All right, so let's go back to the lab. Going back through the pixelator, doing the time warp. Oh, this reminds me of something. What game does this remind me of? Oh, I can't remember. Ooh, that reminds me of Chrono Trigger when you're going through time. That's what it reminds me of. Cool. Good work, Luigi. I knew I should have called you first. Ahem. Let's look at these gears. Those gears. My bad. I can't read, apparently. Hmm, I'll come up with something to make them work again. All right, well then. That should take care of everything. Now unload the poltergeist and see what you got. Poltergust. Sorry, I'm used to saying poltergeist because that's an actual word. Just stick it in there, Luigi. Oh, so, so forceful, aggressive. And that'll record all the ghosts we got. New gem, new gem, new gem, new gem. New ghost and new ghost. And we got 721 gold. Almost putting us up to 2,000. Our next mission should put us all the way up there, which is pretty dang sweet. All right, so we took care of all that. I was right, these new ghosts are very interesting indeed. Such spectacular, spectacular specimens. Are you telling me that you've lived at this mansion, yet you didn't know those ghosts were there? And they won't be making any more trouble for us now that they're in the vault. In the vault, you can review all the types of ghosts that you've captured, and while you're there, feel free to re read my research notes on their ghostly behavior. Analyzing the paranormal signatures of ghosts also helps me fine tune the old periscope. Now skedaddle, I need to figure out a way to make those gears work again. All right, and with that, that takes care of mission A2, gear up. Once again, getting two stars on it. Our next mission is quiet, please. Before we do anything here though, I kind of want to show off the vault. So if we go into the vault, we'll be able to look at all of the stuff we've collected. I wanted to wait until after we got all the gems to do this, and if we got, like, more than one ghost. We still can't view everything we we can see down here because there's something we haven't done. So this will show us all of the ghosts we've gotten. Scarescraper ghosts are different. That's multiplayer, basically. And that's its own thing that we haven't even unlocked on this yet. This one is question mark, question mark, question mark. That's the thing that we haven't unlocked yet. Unlockables, though. We currently have 1,419 gold to, next, to unlock your next upgrade to the Poltergeist 5000. So that's what we've done. And here we can look at our gem collections. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things in all. And these are called amethysts. Amethyst. Amethyst. That reminds me of something. I think I'm thinking of Steven Universe. Is amethyst? There isn't, there isn't a crystal gem named amethyst, is there? Whatever, um, each manor has a different kind of gem, like these are amethysts, I believe, uh, topaz is one of them. So that's pretty cool. And of course we have our ghost container where we can see all the ghosts, I've already shown this. And you can read the descriptions for each of the ghosts, and it'll show you how many you've captured. It only goes up to 99 though, which is kind of disappointing. Alright, so that basically takes care of this area. We'll come back down once we unlock that last thing that we haven't seen yet. Which actually shouldn't be too long from now. So look forward to that. Alrighty. Where to, Luigi? Right now, we're going nowhere because this is the end of the episode. However, next time we'll do a quiet please because according to the Periscope, the ghostly activity in the north section of the Gloomy Manor is increasing. Now that we've recovered the gears, we should be able to investigate. So we'll do that in the next one. I'll see you all then, and goodbye.